Do you want to send PDF invoices to your customers when they buy from your online store? Sending PDF invoices to your customers is a professional way of selling online. So in this video, I will show you how to add PDF invoices and packing slips to your WordPress online store. Keep watching. Hello guys, this is Sadiq here at Tickle Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That's it. Let's jump into the video. So this is the website I'm going to add PDF invoices and packing slips to. So to do that, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the set plugins are set for WooCommerce PDF. And this is a plugin I'm going to install WooCommerce PDF invoices and packing slips by WP Overnight. I go ahead and click on install now. Then I click on activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. Next, I hover on WooCommerce, then I click on PDF invoices. In here, you can go ahead and perform the settings you want. But for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use the setup wizard. So I go ahead and click on run the setup wizard. We can actually come back to the settings later on. So in here, you enter the name of your shop. Mine is Electron Shop. Next is shop address. I've entered my shop address. Then I go ahead and click on next. Next is your logo. In here, I go ahead and set the logo of my shop. If you do not already have your logo uploaded to your media library, you can go to upload files and go ahead and select your logo. I already have my logo right here. So I just select it. Then I click on set image. Then I go ahead and click on next. In here, you can go ahead and select the level at which you want to send PDF invoices to your customers. For this tutorial, I will choose new order, completed order, as well as customer invoice. Then I go ahead and click on next. You can choose whatever you want depending upon your store requirements. Next is display options. What are the details you want to see on your PDF invoices? Personally, I want to see shipping address, email address, phone number, invoice date, as well as invoice number. So I go ahead and select all these. Then I click on next. In here, you go ahead and choose the paper format. You have the option to choose A4 or letter depending upon where you are coming from. I'll leave mine as A4. Then I go ahead and click on next. Next is action buttons. When you enable this, you'll be able to create PDF invoices manually. So I'll go ahead and do this. Then I click on next. And that's it for the setup. I go ahead and click on finish. Now that we are done with our setup wizard, let's see how our invoice will look at when an order is made. So I'll just go ahead and place an order. Alright, I've just placed an order. So let's see how our invoice will come up. So I'll go over to WooCommerce and I click on orders. And right here is my new order which is still processing. And right here are my action buttons. Over here, you can mark the order as completed. You can generate PDF invoice as well as PDF packing slip. So first of all, let's see how our PDF invoice will come up. So I'll go ahead and click on it. It will open in a new tab. And boom, this is how our PDF invoice will look like. Very professional and clean. I have my logo in here, the shop address as well as the customer's address. And down here below is the product details as well as the product total. Now let's go ahead and see how the packing slip will come up. So I click on it. Perfect, very clean and neat. So let's exit from here for now. Now let's see how we can further customize our PDF invoices. So I go over to PDF invoices and the WooCommerce. As you can see, we now have a preview because we've made an order. So under general settings, how do you want to view the PDF? You can choose to open up the PDF in a new browser tab or you can have a downloadable PDF. So this is what I'm going to use for this tutorial. Going down, as you can see, you can go ahead and change some of the things we saw under the setup wizard. This is our logo, the shop name, shop address. The logo, you can decide to change the height if you want. I'll leave it as the default. So if you perform some changes, you just go ahead and click on save changes. Going up, let's go to documents. So this particular settings in here is for PDF. You can also go ahead and choose packing slip. And these are the options we selected during the setup wizard. You can go ahead and alter them if you want. I'll leave them as they are for now. Going down, 
display shipping address i'll choose always and these are the various details i want to be displayed awesome and allow my account invoice download you may want to leave it as only when an invoice is already created i'll leave the rest of the settings as they are then i'll go ahead and save changes you can also go ahead and perform settings for parking slips and i'm not going to tamper with anything the original settings looks fine however if you want to disable parking slip this way you can go ahead and do that but i will leave it as it is next is status in here you can go through and choose accordingly what is applicable to your online store but i will leave everything as it is the most important thing here you may want to consider is enable automatic cleanup and this is currently set to seven days this particular feature comes in handy when you have a big online store you may want to consider deleting the pdf invoices after some days just to make out some space for your online store so i'll leave it as it is and that's all the settings we want to perform let's finally go ahead and see how the customer will be able to see their pdf invoices so to do this let's go ahead and complete our order i can just go ahead and use the action button to mark my order as complete or better still, so i go to the order itself by just clicking on processing then i change the status from processing to completed then i go ahead and update and going down you see that create invoice we have pdf invoice as well as pdf packing slip so let's see how the client will receive their invoice i have my new message here as a client i just open it up going down right here is my pdf invoice i can go ahead and download it and use it for whatever purpose i will need it we've already seen how the pdf invoice will look like when we download it so we'll go ahead with the download so that's it on how to add pdf invoices and packing slips to your online store i hope this video was helpful if you found value kindly hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that you miss out on future videos keep watching and I will see you in the next one.